Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? How y'all doing today? It is officially fall time now. It is October 1st. We started a brand new quarter, the last quarter. Anybody that owns a mailbox store knows what happens in Q4. I ain't gotta tell y'all, it's about to get crazy. We literally have Amazon Prime Day coming up next week. I, I mean, just saying that is crazy. That's like the unofficial kickoff, the holiday season. The weather is getting crazy. I also want to give a shout out to everybody on the East Coast, especially down Florida, South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina down there, affected by the hurricane. Hope y'all doing well. Hope y'all maintain it. Hold your head up high. We're going to make it through this. But let's get into the day and let's see what we can get into today. So we had a slight issue yesterday. Um, UPS delivered to me and they had a package that was marked as COD, meaning that we had to pay UPS before we got the package. I'm not in the business of paying for customers' packages, although I love you all. Um, so that was a weird situation. A few hours later, customer texted us, hey, we noticed the package was refused, why? And so I'm gonna call them now and explain that. But let me know in the comments if this has ever happened to you before. This has happened maybe once or twice, but it rarely happens in the 10 years that I've been running this business and I'm not even sure if that's normal. So uh, let me know in the comments and let's call the customer up and see what's up. I wanted to give an explanation about that package from earlier. Okay. So uh, UPS tried to deliver it yesterday, but unfortunately it was marked as a COD, meaning that we had to pay them before they gave it to us. Oh, and unfortunately, okay. uh, that's not something that we do at this time. I, I really apologize okay. about that, but uh, it probably would be best to follow up with them to see about the payment before they can release it, because they probably won't release it without that. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. So, um, like, I wasn't aware that we had to do a COD, so let me call them. Okay. All right, is there, uh, if there's anything you want me to tell uh, tell them UPS when they arrive again, uh, let me know. Or if there's any way I can help, let me know also. Okay, thank you. Let me see what I can do. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, thanks, Napoleon. Yeah, no problem, Julie. Bye. All right, take care. All right, so as you can hear, it sounds like they weren't aware that they had to do that. I just wanted to make sure that they didn't think that I just was refusing their packages, which they've been customers for a few years now. I doubt they would think that at all. But it's always good to be transparent with customers, let them know. I could have easily sent an email or a text, but I thought it'd be best to call. And it looks like they're on top of it. And if they need my help, I'm sure they'll reach out. Let's get back to the video. Would it be possible for me to like leave some sort? I don't, do you know what like the cash and delivery payment, payment um, methods like are typically when they, add, like did they ask you for like a card or for like cash or something like that yesterday? Uh, I'm not sure. They just when they mentioned COD, I just mentioned that's something that we didn't do it this time. Uh, if you okay. if you want, I can I can ask them uh, and then uh, see what they say. Yeah, because if because if it's possible, like I can come if they try to redeliver, I can come and like do the payment. I just don't want to like hold them up right for like X amount of time. But I can either like leave money with you. I don't know if you're comfortable with that, but like, yeah. I like, I, I know that it's like supposed to come to you guys. So I, and I realized like I, I missed the window to pay it online. Okay. So I didn't realize I've never done this before. I can text him and reach out to him and, and see what he says. So maybe by the time he gets here, we can have the payment ready just to see what they okay, can accept. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'll, I'll let you know if he's, what he Great. says. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sorry about the trouble. I like literally didn't, would never have anticipated. <laughs> yeah, nah, no I worries. Apologize. No worries. It got so busy when he was delivering that I, I should have texted you at that time so that we could have had a solution in place. So that's my bad too. But no, no, it's I'm totally sure we'll. Fine. I was just like, I like thought about it yesterday. I was like, wait, I don't think I've seen this package yet. But um, okay, just let me know. Just give me a call um, and let me know what he says. I also am happy to like call you to see what else I can do. But I'm just like, I have a feeling that they're going to not be as helpful. So. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. We'll uh, but yeah, if you can give me a call or send me a text, either it's great, and I'll try to. Ma I'll make sure that I can get over there with some sort of payment, or if they can do it through phone, like whatever. Okay. Um, and so whatever. Yeah, no pop, no pop. I'll te I'll text them now, see what I can find, and maybe we could uh, get a solution before he gets here. Okay. Thank you, Napoleon. I really appreciate it. No pop. All right, so um, I'm gonna reach out to Timmy, our UPS driver. That's the cool thing of working with Fishbox is that we have contact information for most of our drivers. So if there is an issue like this, we can reach out to them and get some more information. Let's see if we can get a resolution by the end of the day. I think if I remember correctly, something showed up yesterday for you. Yeah. Yep. There's a few. Yeah, 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 that's right. 
Five for you. It might be a yeah. new record, bro. <laughs> Just move this to the side, make some space for us. Bro. Thank you. Right, we got four small ones. One. Two, three, that's number four. And we got one box for you today. Here, right back there, you find that. You got it. Oh, here it is. All right, sir. Thank you very much. You got it, brother. Enjoy the day. I'll see you next time. Yep, see you next time. Honestly, that one that you just pulled out, I'm so glad that got here. Oh, that's that the main one? one? Yeah, so that's Mimi's for a wedding, and oh. that shipped out from Louisiana literally like right before the hurricane. Oh, my like, God. It was Perfect like, timing. Yes. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm so glad it got out. That's and right. Like, it's That's in right. The air. It's in the air. And I was like, it's delayed. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I was like, oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. Thank you. That's <laughs> right. That's yes. right. Thank you well, so you much. can rest easy for a little bit, at least yeah. until that third one shows up. Well, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Amazon, how you doing today? How you doing, man? Good, bro. Just that one? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Like the style of packages come to and they come grab them. That's right, bro. That's right. Yeah. Hopefully, it make your life easier. That way, you ain't got to deliver to a bunch of places. Yeah, you can just drop them all here. I was telling my wife they needed something like this, man. It's a million times easier. That's some right. Spots like you deliver like the penthouses and all that. Yeah. Or like you could just come somewhere like this, drop them. Drop off, it all, and, and that's it. Cause y'all got to leave them whether the customers there or not. And so people yelling at y'all, but that's Sometimes your job. They say the packages got stolen. That's all right. Types of... Thank you, man. No problem. Enjoy the day. Thank you so much. No problem. Enjoy the rest of the day. It's about 10 15, still waiting on UPS to come. Just had like some random Amazon people deliver packages, but I wanted to take this time to talk about the consultations for a minute. Um, first, what they are and what they are not. First, what they are. The consultations, I scheduled these and I started charging for these because I was getting so many people calling in and emailing me about them. Uh, it just got almost impossible to manage working all day, doing calls that people would call in during the workday, which I appreciated at the time, but I couldn't help my customers that I had here at Fishbox and also answer your questions. So what I started doing is offering consultations. And at the first time I offered them, they were 100% free. I didn't charge anything for them. I would schedule an hour and some people would hit me up and they would show up on the call and it would be great. But there were times where people would schedule something with me for an hour. I would block out time after work. I would tell friends I couldn't hang out. I wouldn't go home to my family and people would ghost me. People would stand me up and I feel like they just didn't have respect for the time if they didn't charge. So I know a lot of people are out there, you might feel uncomfortable that I charge or that you could charge, which I completely understand. But the reason why I charge for that isn't to take your money. But most of that is for two reasons. One, to make sure that you respect my time. My time is valuable because I like to spend time with my friends and my family. But also two, I wanna make sure that I'm working with people that are actually gonna use the information that I give them and actually do something with it. Or they put whatever information you gave them into action. That feels really good. The last thing I wanna do is like just speak to people that are just not really serious about this thing. So that's why I charge. So let's talk about what the consultations are not. I probably would never do consultations teaching you how to build a mailbox store. That's just not the stuff that I'm into. There's other people out there that do that probably better than I ever could. My goal with the consultations is to make myself available in the event that you have some questions about what it is that I'm doing in the industry that we are in. I just wanna be here if you have questions like, hey, how much can I expect to make in the first year? How long is it gonna take me to become successful? Uh, how much money do I need to raise, right? So when we're scheduling a consultation, this isn't me sitting down with you for an hour and preaching to you about this is what you do need to do next, this is what you need to do tomorrow. That's not what the consultations are. The consultations are pretty much for me to make myself available to you to answer any questions that you may have to help you along your journey. You may not even want to start a mailbox store. Maybe you just want to talk business. Maybe you just want to schedule something with me because you need some inspiration to start your own thing or go your own direction. That's perfectly fine too. Maybe you want to talk about being a dad. It's completely up to you. The consultations are everything that you want it to be. I want you to get as much value out of it as possible, and I'm willing to answer any and every question that you have. There is nothing that's off limits. So the best thing that you can do for the consultations, have your questions ready. I don't care if you have a thousand questions. I will go through as many as we can in an hour. If we can't get through all of them, 
we'll schedule another one. That said, there's a link in the description to schedule one if that's what you're into, but you don't have to. All the information that I'm going to be talking about, I'm pretty much going to be giving away for free on my YouTube channel. So as long as you subscribe, you'll probably get a lot of the information. But if you have something specific you want to know, hit me up. Like give you the checks to 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 uh, give, yeah. should they have a check for you or a money order? Yeah. And who does it have to be made out to? The, oh, it's only like the top like left side, like uh, oh, it has and, to be made yeah, to whatever, whatever the business side. Oh, name so, the, is. so not UPS. Now UPS is only for uh, brokerage fees. It's oh. the same thing. Like you get a check or uh, cashier check, okay, um, or money order. Pay it, like then that's different. It's like. I don't understand the difference. I don't know if it's international, like brokerage fees, but okay. the whole thing is like a headache. I, I've had, yeah. You know, just yeah I've only, ever since I've been working here, I've had, in 10 years, I think I've had three of those. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of times, uh, I, I get customers like they didn't know about the fee. Yeah, none of them and, ever know. Yeah, so, so I'm trying to like, figure out, like, you know, how can, you know, we can get to the bottom of it. <laughs> it's always something. Now, yeah, so. it's always something. Yeah. So sorry about that, bro. Nah, dude, it's so, literally like no problem. Like, I mean, like I said, it won't be the last time like with other stops it happens. Yeah. So. No biggie. All right, bro. All right, pal. Thank you, bro. Enjoy the day. It sounded like every time this happened, the person that bought the item was kind of blindsided. It wasn't like they knew or got some type of message letting them know that there was a COD. So we'll just keep pushing forward. We'll try to figure this out. But let's check out these packages we got from UPS today. So it's about 40 here. We got a big bottle of wine. We got a ton of stuff in there. And of course, we got all this stuff over here. I'm going to put this stuff away and we're going to keep it moving. I'm going to open up this other one. Coming in. <laughs> yeah, I wrote a little quiet. Is everything for it? Uh, yeah, I just got one more big one. I need a signature for the alcohol. Okay. Alright y'all, so it's about noon. I'm not sure if you heard that loud crash, but that was FedEx ground, which is normally the heavier packages, delivering a huge carpet, which I'm not sure if you can see it over there, but it's all the way over there in that corner right there. Anyway, he was trying to lift that thing in and knock my computer over, face first. So that computer right there, that desktop computer, knocked it over face first it was glitching it was blinking and we were a little worried it was broken but thank god i plugged it back in and it started to work again so that is one of the advantages of using some of the windows products some of those things will take a beating i know for a fact if that was an apple product like an imac that thing would have been shattered and i don't even know how to go about that i'm sure my insurance would have covered that i'm sure fedex would have came out of pocket somehow some way but i wouldn't have got the money right away so thank god everything's all right at least so far I'm gonna take a little break because I'm super tired and we're gonna keep pushing. See y'all in a little bit. Yo, USPS, what's up, brother? Oh, I'm chill. Just these two? Yeah. Okay, filling in for Tiny today? Yeah. You on, vac on vacation today, spending that Bitcoin? Nah, I ain't on vacation, we ain't bringing him in, that's all. <laughs> I just got this envelope going all back right, for all right. custom. Alright, I see you. Alright, brother, I appreciate you, man. You in tomorrow? A tiny back. He should be back tomorrow. It's just they just ain't bring him in for overtime day. Okay, so what happened? You just bounced around. Whoever take off, you just fill no, in. Whoever take off every day, somebody they, they don't bring him in for overtime. Oh, fill in for him. Oh, okay. So. All right, so this is everything we got from USPS. Just two tubs. The guy was fill filling in for Tiny, who's normally our mail guy. So anything small like this, or any small boxes like this, come from Tiny. Anything bigger boxes like stuff like that from USPS or stuff like that usually Cindy delivers that So some of y'all ask about my process. I get asked this question a lot What do I do for putting packages away? So the first thing I do I'll use USPS as an example I take all the stuff from over there 
and I bring it over here. This is kind of like the workstation. I write all the fish box numbers on all the packages. And when I write a fish box number on it, I either put it on the top of the scan cart or in the bottom. So I'll go through all the stuff, write all the numbers on there, and then I'll scan the packages. Each one of these shelves here pertains to some type of number. So, you know, 5,000 is over there, 6,000 is over there. So essentially, if a package falls on the ground, whether it's a small package or a larger package, somebody from Fishbox should be able to come in, pick it up, and know exactly where it goes. I definitely would advise that you use some type of process like that for your packages. It's going to make life a lot easier, especially around holiday season, which is right around the corner, and you got hundreds of people banging on your door talking about, give me my package. So I'm going to put all this stuff away, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So when I tell you holiday season shows up earlier and earlier every year, at least that's how it feels. Like I said earlier, it's October 1st and check this out. We started getting these. Anybody that remembers the Sears catalog from back in the day, the Sears catalog would be like five of these stacked on top of each other. It looked like a dictionary, but it basically had every toy that a kid would possibly want in there. They would come to our house, which would be great because this was, this was before the days of the internet. So... This would be the way that you would find out to ask Santa what toys you wanted. So me and my little sister would go through and circle the toys that we want. I'd have this under my bed. And of course, everything's digital now, but Amazon sends these out. And in my opinion, these are kind of like the replacement for the Sears catalogs. And check this out here. But that's not the crazy part. The fact that we received this is crazy, but look at this. These are all the, that they sent. And I'm willing to guarantee that they have a lot more of these coming. But the fact that we have like, I don't know, there's probably like 50 of them here is crazy. I can't even imagine how much paper they're probably going through because they literally could put this on their website. Everybody has the Amazon app installed on their phone. But uh, let me know if you guys have gotten some of the, the holiday stuff already because here in Philly, October 1st, it looks like things are starting already. <laughs> yeah, this one Amazon. Oh, yeah. Look, that jack was dead. <laughs> Take it back, baby. That's right. Enjoy it, my friend. You know it. Have a great one. You too. I'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you. No problem. I got some oh big stuff for you, brother. <laughs> That's number one. Okay. And I got one small one. Thanks. No problem. Good afternoon. Where is it? Um, um, Buenos yeah. tardes. Yeah, yeah, but Yeah. I don't remember that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my brother. Take See you care. tomorrow, man. What's up, Amazon? How you doing today? Just this one package, brother? Yes, sir. Yeah, you got it, man. Appreciate you, bro. Alright, you too. Enjoy the day, man. Alright, so I'm not sure if you guys remember the previous videos, but we had a sign right there that talked about, actually I'll show you the actual sign. It was this one. Getting married and need a safe place to get your registry packages delivered, Fishbox can help with that. And I just took that down because holiday season is approaching and I wanna hit them with some different marketing. I think this one did its job. We had a lot of people that came into the store and asked about that and even some of them signed up. But we're going into holiday season now so it's time to get rid of the old love and move to the new love. Holiday season is right around the corner. Worried about stolen gifts? Fishbox can help with that. So I'm gonna put this right in that window, see how many people come in, say what's up. Hopefully we can get some customers from that. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hey, man, Yo, yo, what's up, brother? How can I help you? I'm just calling. My, my email's been messed up lately. I just want to see if I have anything waiting for me. Okay, give me a second. Let me check for you, brother. Yeah, man, take your time. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, looks like we got one small one for you. 
Okay. Yep. Cool. Also, we have a new system, a new database, so you can go right onto our okay. website. You can log right in, and you don't even have to wait for the uh-huh. emails anymore. All your packages, past and present, are all going to be in there. Oh, bet. Sounds good. You got it, brother. Sweet. Well, thanks, man. I'll see you soon. You got it, man. Take care. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hi. I'm, I'm coming. Um, I'm on my way to pick up for... Um should be there momentarily. You got it. Sounds good. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so one of the cool things about using Fishbox is that you can call ahead, as you see that lady just did a few moments ago. But the bad thing is that Amazon just showed up. So I have to kind of balance getting her packages ready, but also putting these packages away because customers are going to be here in a little bit to pick them up. So I'm going to try to get those packages together. Hopefully I can get that done, and then we'll move over to this other stuff that's piling in right now. So uh, let's get to work. That's done on the Amazon. Thank you, bro. You need these two back, bro? Uh, yeah, I can see them. Come on. A couple more. Okay. So guys, there's this new YouTube channel that I found out about. It's actually not new. I found out about it from Winston's page at Speedy Pack and Go. It's called Packing Stuff. It's just a really cool channel around people that just pack stuff. And you get to take a a look inside their lives and they shoot vlog style content similar to what I'm shooting. They have a cool community and they, they shoot some dope content. I think they're located in Florida, so feel free to give them a follow. I'm gonna put a link to their page in the description. Oh, and shout out to Winston for recommending packing stuff. Love their channel. Uh, you got the hatchback today? Yeah, the tiny little guy. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Well, give it the old college try. If it doesn't <laughs> fit in there, bring it back, brother. We'll right. figure something else out. Cool, yeah, let me, let me go see. You got it. All right, thanks. Fits? Yeah. Right, sounds good, brother. <laughs> All right, enjoy the day. Cool. Thanks, man. No problem. Enjoy the day. Yeah, you too. Sheesh. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, productive day today. Hopefully, you guys got to see what goes on. Did everything myself today. So, anybody out there that's thinking about starting their mailbox store and working by yourself, hopefully, this can serve as some inspiration. Had a great day. Got some great work done. Did some customer service. And I'm kind of tired now. So, I'm going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.